Can you talk about blood pressure issues with TRT? Yeah, absolutely. So blood pressure issues are a good symptom that there is something wrong either in terms of psychological stress or physiological stress. Um, there also can be, you know, build up a plaque in the arteries as well, but that would be a, you know, pre-existing condition. So when we're looking at, and again, I'm going to go back to the analogy I used at the start, is that if you take someone who is metabolically compromised, so let's say they're insulin resistant, high levels of body fat, or maybe they're consuming a bunch of stimulants, they've got high levels of psychological stress, like they're very like highly strung and anxiety prone. If you put a bunch of testosterone into their body and they're not in a good, healthy state to begin with, you're basically, as I said, you're putting a very powerful engine in a car that can't handle it and you are going to get side effects. So the, the best tip that I can give people on their TRT, and this has been the, the biggest commonality I've found maybe in the last year of, of working with guys, is that if you're, you want to put the amount of testosterone into your body that it would be naturally producing if it could. So if you are an obese, mid-40s man who doesn't do any exercise and drinks a bunch of booze, you are not going to tolerate the levels of a fit, healthy 21-year-old. It is just not going to work. And one of the things that will happen is your blood pressure is going to go up. So if you are dealing with high blood pressure, and if, if you are metabolically compromised, if you are in one of these situations, using testosterone can be a good way to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. But you have to make that commitment to go, okay, I'm going to use this interventional endocrinology, which is you know, Jay Campbell's term, to go, okay, I'm going to take the amount of testosterone that I want to be making, and I'm going to use that to allow myself to get to that point in an expedited fashion. Because if you've got incredibly low testosterone levels and you're out of shape and you've got you know, a small amount of muscle and a large amount of body fat, it's very difficult to break that cycle, extremely, extremely difficult. So if you're going to make that commitment to go, okay, I've gone off track, I'm pretty far off track, I want to get on track, and I'm going to make that commitment, you can definitely start your TRT journey, but you need to, what I'd say, meet the medicine halfway in terms of work with the testosterone to get you to where you want to be. Because injecting testosterone in, into yourself is not going to just turn you into the man that you want to become. It's not going to do that. It took me years to work that out when I started. So if you've got high blood pressure, my recommendation is to treat it with something like telmosartan. I also like to use things like ubiquinol, uh, 100 to 200 milligrams of ubiquinol, um, as well as things like mindfulness meditation, cutting excessive caffeine down, working on cardiovascular fitness. All of those things should be done before putting a pharmaceutical in. But if you do need the pharmaceutical to bring it down to reverse hypertension in the interim, by all means, but don't rely on the medication. If you are using a physiological amount of testosterone, it shouldn't be causing you hypertension. If it is causing you hypertension, it's because you're putting too much testosterone into your body that it can handle at that point in time. And you need to go, okay, what do I need to do to be able to tolerate this medicine uh, in, in a healthful fashion. And usually for people, it's reducing body fat uh, and improving cardiovascular health.